and welcome to IBS Intelligence, where we bring you the latest buzz from the world of finance and technology. I'm Gloria Metri. And I'm Pooja Sharma, and we are reporters at IBS Intelligence. Before we dive into the top fintech news of the week, brace yourself for an exciting evening of networking and collaboration as Cedar Capital and Cedar IBSI Fintech Club is organizing Fintech Happy Hour in Bangalore. A one-of-a-kind event where fintechs, bankers, VCs, and like-minded individuals come under the same roof on April 19. For more details, be sure to check out the details below. Starting with the first news of the day, Country Builders Bank, a rural bank in the Philippines, has partnered with Kia.ai, a fintech in India, to advance its banking infrastructure. Up next, Cooperative Bank of Oromia will be introducing Coopap and Coopap Aluda through Temenos Digital Infinity. This means they have created new digital platform for both regular banking and Islamic banking. Moving on, Klarna has rolled out its open banking powered settlements in the UK. Through this, consumers can pay Klarna directly from their bank accounts instead of bypassing card networks. West Monroe, a business and technology consulting firm and bank base, a global leader in engagement banking have announced a strategic partnership to help accelerate the digital transformation for the U.S. banking industry. MasterCard is making it easier to send money between countries by teaming up with Alipay, which is a digital platform in China. This collaboration enables consumers to transfer and receive funds in their digital wallets almost instantly. And finally, GoCardless is planning to acquire Centennial, which operates globally under Nuapay brand. By incorporating Nuapay's offering into bank's payment platform, Cargo Cardless will fast track the rollout of new disbursement capabilities for its customers. That's it for this week's top fintech stories. We will be back on April 5th after a short hiatus on account of Easter. Until then, be sure to check out the links in the description below and stay tuned for more such fintech updates.